winter works a little differently out here. <laughs> my dear. I should have asked you last night, did you feel like leaving the Christmas tree early or did you want to just do a good air?
might be helpful. I mean, I haven't memorized this. No, absolutely not. I'll just start singing random stuff. <laughs> that might not be a bad idea. Do you keep on your toes? <laughs> Shabbat Shalom and good morning on this breezy official first day of winter. Welcome to an Arizona winter. We begin our services this morning uh, with Birkot HaShachar on page 103. We welcome Dory to the Bima who will lead us this morning. Um, page 103 and we rise. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher natan lasach vivina leavchin ben yom uven laila. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shasani v'tzalmo. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shasani b'chorin. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shasani Yisrael. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam pokeach ivrim. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Amen. Baruch Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Ozer Yisrael b'gvura Amen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Oter Yisrael b'tifara Amen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Hanotein la ya'ev koach Amen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Aver shena amen Aidu mame apapai Biratam ufenatam Utnenu o yom, bukhol yom, machan al chasel rachami, be necha o be nechor o enu, tigmelenu chasadim tovim, baruch atar o nai, gomel chasadim tovim, liamo Yisrael. Amen. We continue on page 112. You may be seated with these words of Psalm 92. Mizmor shir li yom ha Shabbat, tov lehodot la donai. Uzamer le shimcha elyon, Ulezamer le shimcha elyon, Lehagid babo kerhastecha, Ve emuna teha balelot, Alea sorve alena vel, Ale higayon bechinor, Mizmor shir li yom ha Shabbat, Tov lehodot la donai. Uzamer le shimcha elyon, Ulezamer le shimcha elyon. Adinavum beseva, the shenim vranim ye you, a geek here sharado night, so revelo of la tabo. On page 120, we find these words of Psalm 30. Mismor shir chanukat ha-bayit le-david. Mismor shir chanukat ha-bayit le-david. Mismor shir chanukat ha-bayit le-david. Fachtom is pedi le macholi, pitachto sakivita has rainy simcha, the man is a mercha havod velo ye dome, Adonai lo hai leo la mo deca. We, um, on page 2121, we have the words of mourners Kaddish. For those who are in the year of mourning, who are observing a yard site, I invite you to rise as we say these words. Yit gadal, vit kadash, shame raba. Be'alma divra kirute, v'yamlich machute, v'chaye chon uv'yomei chon, uv'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael, ba'agala uv'izman kariv v'imru, amen. Yehei shmei rabba mevarach le'alam ul'almei almaya, yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnase, v'yithadar v'yithale v'yithalal shmei d'kudsha v'richu. 
le ela minko virhata vishirata, tush vichata venechamata, da amiran ve alma vi imru, amen. Yehe shlama raba min shmaya, vechaim alenu ve alko yisrael vi imru, amen. O se shalom bimramav, hu ya ase shalom, alenu ve alko yisrael vi imru, amen. We all rise as we turn to page 122. We begin the words of Suke de Zimra with Baruch She'amar. Baruch She'amar v'haya ha'olam Baruch Hu Baruch Osev Reshit Baruch Omer ve'oseh Baruch Gozeru Mekayem Baruch Merachem al ha'aretz Baruch Merachem Al habriot baruch mishalem sachar tov v'reav baruch ay laad v'kayam la netzach baruch kodel umatzil varuch shmo. Yahid Khe Haula Mi Melch Meshubach Mufawar Dechmo Hagado Baruch Atadonai Melech Mehulal Batish Bachot. Amen. We may be seated as we turn to page 136 for these words of Ashrei. A lot of page turning. Ashrei Oshrei Vitecha Yahalalu Chasela. Hallelujah. In the middle of page 141, we find the words of Psalm 150. Um, about praising God with joy. So let's all wake up for this one. <laughs> hallelujah, 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 We rise as we turn to page 143. In the middle of the page, we have the words of the Song of the Sea. 
Az Yashir Moshe, Uvene Israel, Et Hashira Hazot La Donai Vayom Rule Mor, Ashira La Donai Kiga Oga, Sus Virach for Ramavayam, Ozi Vezimratia Vayahi. The Elivian Bay, who Elohe Aviv, the man who Adonai Ishmael Hama, Adonai Shemo, Markevo Parovechelo, Yaravayam, Umim Har Shalishav, to Beu Viam Suf. Tehomo yechas yumu yardu vim solo kemo aven. Yimin chan aydan zir koch, yimin chan aydan aytir hatsayev, kan chatan ash kana echad shulchan acha yuchum kakarav. Mi chamo chavay limaronai, mi kamo chanedat bakodesh noratin oto sefer bet. Adonai Mloch Le'olam Va'ed Adonai Mloch Le'olam Va'ed Ki Adonai Hamlucha Umoshal Bagoyim Ve'alu Moshim Bahar Tzion Lishpot Et Hart Le'esav Ve'hai Tal Adonai Hamlucha Ve'hai Adonai Le'melech Ha'kol Ha'aretz Ve'yom Ha'hui Adonai Echad Ushmo Echad You may be seated on page 145. The soul of all that lives praises your name, Adonai, our God. The spirit of all flesh exalts you, our sovereign, always. From the very beginning to the very end of time, you are God. Now, Lel Chana Shabach Chana Fa'er Chana Varech Hashem Chod Shachal Ka'amur V'davi Barchi Nafshi Yed Adonai V'chol Karava Yashem Kod Sho Page 147 Ha'el V'tatsumo Tuzecha Ha'gado B'chvod Shemecha Ha'gibor L'Netzach V'anora B'norotecha Ha'melech Ha'yoshev Al Kisei Ram V'nisa Kol HaKavod to Dori for leading us in our Birkot HaShachar Pitzukei Dezimra Thank you so much um, for those who don't know me, I'm Cantor Rubenstein. Welcome to the Horowitz clan as we celebrate this wonderful, wonderful birthday with you. We're so happy that we can do this. We continue with our service, the official beginning of Shacharit on page 147 in the middle of the page. Shochenad maharom shemo. Vechatu frane nu tzadikim badonai lai sharim nava tehila befi yesharim titala uve divrei tzadikim titparach uve lshon chasidim titramam uve kerev kedoshim titkadash uve makalot revavot amcha beit Yisrael Menina yit parshim chamokin uve choldor vador Shekain chovat kol yitzurim lefan echad onai Eloheinu velohe avoteinu veimoteinu Lehodol lehalel leshabeach lefaher Leromem lehader levarech lehalel ukaleis Ahal kol divre shirot vetishbechot David ben Ishai avdecha meshichecha 
please rise on page 148. <laughs> Havocher Vishire Zimra Melechel Cheha Olamim Yit Kadal Vit Kadash Shemeira Ba Belma Divra Kiritevim Nichmahu Tevachai Hon Vimechon Chaidho Vit Israel Bahagala Uvisman Kadi Vimru Amen Yehe Shmeira Ba Mevarach Leal Lamula Mel Maya Yit Barach Vishabach Vit Baar Vit Raman Vit Nasevi Hit Adar Vit Alevi Talal Shmed Kudisha Brichu Leila Minko Birchata Vishirata Tush Bechata Venechamata Damiran Bialma Vimeru Amen Yala Lai 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 Barhu et Adonai Hamevorach Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Le'olam ba'er Le'olam ba'er Yalla lai 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 Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam yotzer ahod uvorei choshech Ose shalom uvorei et hako You may be seated as we continue in the middle of page 150. Akol yoducha vakol yishabchucha vakol yomru en kadosh kadonai Akol yomru machasam With kindness you illumine the earth and all who dwell on it. And in your goodness, day after day, you renew creation. Sovereign, you alone ruled on high from the very beginning. Praise glorified and exalted since earliest times. Ein kekecha v'ein zulatecha, epes biltecha umidom elach. Ein kekecha donai loheinu baolam hazeh, v'ein zulatcha malkeinu lechaye haolam haba. Epes piltecha gwaleinu limo tamashiach Vein do melech amoshienu Lidchiat hametim On page 51 we have the words of our beautiful poem El Adon El Adon al kol ha-maasim Baruch hum vorach befi kol neshama God love it to vama leolam Da'atu t'vuna sovevim moto Hamitka el chayotako dash venedar bechavor ala merkava zechutu mishor lifnei chiso chesed verachamim lifnei chevodo yalla la la yalla la la yalla la 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 yalla la la yalla la la yalla la 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 yalla la 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 yalla la 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 
Yai lai 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 yai lai 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 Tovi me odot shevara eloheinu Yetzaram bedaat bevina uvhaskel Koach ugvura natan bahem Liot moshlim bekerev tevel Mele im zivum fikim noga Na ezivam bechol haolam Mechim betzaitam besasim bevoam, osim beemar etzon konam. Yalla la la, yalla la la, yai la la la, yalla la la, yalla la la, yai la la la. Yalla la la, la 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 la, yalla la la, la 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 la. Peer vechavod notnim lishmo. So hola verina le zecher malchuto, kara la shemesh va yizrachor, ra'a vehit kin surat alvana, shevach not nimlo, kol tseva marom, tiferet ugdula, Srafim be ofanim be chayot hakodesh. Yalla la la, yalla la la, yai la la la. Yalla la la, yalla la la, yai la la la. Yalla la la, la yalla la la. Yai la la la, la yai la la la. Lai la sher shavad mikol hamasim biyamashvi ihitala biyashev al kisei kevodo. Top paragraph of 152 to ourselves. Tiferatat haliyom minucha onek haliyom ha-shabah ha-shabah. Tiferach moshinu al shabah maasei adecha v'al meorei or she'asita yifaru chasela. Tiparach, Tzureinu, Malkeinu, Vegoaleinu, Bore Kedoshim. Yishtabach Shim Chalad Malkeinu, Yotzer Meshartim Vashem Meshartat, Kulam Omdim Berum Olam. On page 153, at the first red arrow. Kulam Ahuvim, Kulam Berurim, Kulam Giborim, Vechulam Osim Beima, Uvirar Etzon Konam, Vechulam. Potchim et pihem b'kdusha u'v'tohora v'shira u'v'zimra U'mvarachim u'shavachim u'farim u'maritzim u'makdishim u'mamlichim Et shem ha'el ha'melech ha'gadol ha'gibor v'hanora kadoshu V'chulam e'kadlim alayhem o'machut shamayim zeh mizeh V'nonim reshut zeh lazeh Le'akdish v'liyotzra menachat ruach v'safa v'rura u'v'nima kedosha Kulam kechad onim beomrim beirah Kadosh, kadosh, kadosh Adonai tzivahot melocho haaret kevodo Lehaofanim vechayot hakodesh Beraash gadol minasim liumat rafim Lehumat hameshavchim meomrim Baruch kevod Adonai minkomo Lel baruch nimot itenu melcha chai vekayam smirot Yom evitish mechot yashmihu Let's see if she was not alone at any lot. I'm a had a spit over the whole yom time in my seven a sheet. Come on, let's see what I'm going to kill your arm. Hasto or had a shot. See on tire. We need to go on a number of the auto. Baru had a don't I. You'd say I'm a old old page one fifty four. Ahava Rabba Havtanu Adonai Eloheinu Chem Lagdol Avitera Chamalta Aleinu Ahavinu Malkeinu Bavor Avoteinu Shebatchu Vecha Shebatchu Vecha Avinu Malkeinu Vatilam dem chuke chayim, ken techoneinu tlam deinu, avinu ha'av arachaman, ham rachem rachem aleinu. Veten belibeinu lehavin, lehavin ul haskil ishmoa, lilmod ulelamed, lishmod velasot. Ukayem et 
kol divrei Talmud Torah techab yahava. Veha eden enu ve Torah techa ve da beik libeinu ve mitzvot techa. Le'yachel le'vavinu le'ahava u'ira et shemecha. Ve'lo nevosh le'olam va'en ve'lo Veshem kod shecha hagado ve'anora batachnu nagila ve'nismecha nagila ve'nismecha bishuatecha fahavienu leshalom me'ad ba'kanfot ha'aret letoli chenu. Come miut, come miut le arsenu, ki el po el yeshua tata, uvan uvachar tami kolam velashon, ve keirav tanu, le shimcha gadol sela, ve emet le hodot lecha, u yachedcha. Uyachet chabeahava. Baruch ata Adonai, habocher be'amo Yisrael be'ahava. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, sovereign of the universe, who chooses Amo Yisrael, the children of Israel, us, God's nation, with love. I wanted to take a pause here, um, a little bit of a untraditional spot to take a pause because I really wanted to do a teaching on Shema this morning. Um, instead of our Dvar Torah, uh, some thoughts about the Torah portion, I wanted to offer a, a Dvar Tfila, um, some words and ideas about our prayer. So the words Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad are very evocative for the Jewish people. This is our declaration of faith. And all Jews at some point say this. Jews by choice say this at the mikvah and when they make their public declarations. We teach our children to say this when they're so young, sometimes with hand motions. And it, even um, secular humanistic Jews, and if you don't know what secular humanism is, you can ask me later, um, everybody says the Shema Yisrael. So what does the word Shema mean? Ah, okay, I have hear and I have listen. And I would offer also, pay attention. <laughs> you get gold stars over there. Um, and the idea, what I wanted to do is I wanted to focus on the idea of listening and paying attention. One of the most fascinating things about the Shema and the Ve'ahavta is that it is written in the second person singular. Okay? And actually all of it is in the singular, not the plural. So this is a very personal declaration. And when we say the Shema, we are very much talking about our personal obligations. But we say it in community as well, not just on our own. So what does it mean to say the Shema in community with this idea of listening and paying attention? I'll offer it with some, um, through sound. So when um, I was studying liturgy in cantorial school, we talked a lot about the idea of a sound bath. Um, it's not necessarily just the words that are on the page, but the sounds that are evoked when we say these words. So I'll give you an example. We have the word Shema. Let's break it up, okay? Shh, mm, ah. Shh, mm, ah. When we hear shh, what do we think of? Quiet. And this is not the shh, right? <laughs> it's not shh, it's shh, right? Quiet. And when we hear mmm, what do we think of? <laughs> Thank you, Allison thinks of food. Mmm, something pleasant. Yes, yeah, something yummy. Mmm, yeah, pleasant, something like that. So we have quiet, pleasant, and then ah, ah. 
It's the sort of the release of tension, ah, but then also think of it as this idea of awe, right? Ah. So I'm gonna have an exercise. So we're gonna do sort of like the wave, but with sound, okay? So we're gonna start here with shh, then mmm, ah, okay? And I'm gonna offer you one more thing before we do that. What do we often do when we say the Shema? Sort of the choreography. We cover our eyes, we close our eyes. And what we teach our children is why do we close our eyes? You gotta be louder, I can't hear. There you go, concentrate, right? When we close our eyes, when we take away one of our senses, we open up our other senses. So as we do this exercise, I'll give you verbal instructions, so please, if you are so comfortable, close your eyes to really let this all absorb. We are gonna start, uh-oh, your eyes are all closed. <laughs> I didn't anticipate that one. We're going to start on this side of the room with the shh, and then you can close your eyes. One, two, three. Shh. Mmm. Ah. Shh. Mmm. Ah. A little bit louder. Let's get into this. All right, so we're sort of channeling those different feelings. Now I want to do one more thing that's actually pretty cool. I want you all to make that noise, whichever sound, the sh, m, ah. We're now all going to do it at the same time. All right, this is a very cool experiment. And one of the things I really want you to do is really get into it. My middle, even though you, there, most people are sitting over here, you're being the shyest so far. So you might have to close your eyes to sort of let yourself go a little bit. And I really want you to lean into the sound that you're making and then really pay attention, listen to the sounds around you. And you'll get an idea of why I feel this is actually a communal prayer, not just a personal one. On the count of three, we'll all offer our sound. One, two, three. Keep going. I need more mmm. Keep going. Very nice. Okay, now we're going to do this again. My mmms are very shy. I want you to, now we're going to hold it, okay? So we're going to do shh, mmm, ah, uh, all at the same time. And we're going to hold it for as long as we can, okay? One, two, three. Now let's say our, all of our words, and we're going to give it the same intention that we just did our Shema. So we'll do it, we'll do it sort of in one breath, we'll say Shema, then a next breath for Yisrael, and really lean into the sounds, and really lean into the meditative aspect of what it means to say these sounds. Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavcha uvechol nafshecha uvechol meotecha ve'hayu Hadvarim ha ele Asher anochi Mitzavcha Hayom alivavecha Vishinantam levanecha Vidibarta baham Vishivtecha bevetecha Uvlechtecha vaderech Uf shoch becha, uf kumecha, uk shar tam leot ayadecha, veha yule totafot bain enecha, uch tav tam al mizuzo betecha, uvi sharecha. 
to ourselves on page 156. Adonai Eloheichem Emet. Before we continue, I just wanted to sort of get some feedback. How did that exercise make you feel? Did it open anything up for you? Did it just make you feel like your lips were going numb? Anybody want to offer? I'm opening it up. Did you feel more focus? Okay, so Frank is saying he felt more focused, that it helped channel a bit of intention for him. Ah, Rita said it centered her and sort of, sort of made her feel peaceful in that moment. Yes, Denny. Jewish meditation. Jewish meditation. Well, this is a thing. This is a thing, and this is why we're inviting the prayer group now, or um, to join us in two weeks to help us delve even more into what that kind of meditative prayer looks like. Did I see uh, Sherry in back had a hand raised? No? Oh, pointing over there. Okay, yeah. Audrey. More sensitive to the sound. I really like being a cantor. I really like sound, not just melody, sort of playing with sound. So I might do this again with a different text that we don't even realize. So thank you for taking that journey with me. Um, we continue our service. I, oh, actually, just one more thing before I forget, because I think my mother wanted me to mention this part. When we look at our tefillah, our prayer book, the ayin of the Shema is emphasized, right? That ah uh, sound. And then, at the very end of the phrase, the Dalit of Echad is also pronounced. It looks that way in the Torah as well. And so when we say it, we're supposed to emphasize the Ayin, in as much as one can emphasize a silent letter. And we're supposed to emphasize the Dalit, Echad. Al, uh, sorry, Ayin and Dalit together. Does anybody know what word that makes, Cheryl? Right, Ed. In Hebrew, the word Ed is from witness. Actually, I could even argue that it comes from the root ledaat. We'll see if my Hebraists here will argue with me. Ledaat means to know, but ed is to witness. And so the twin idea here is that not only are we saying this out loud, we are also witness to the idea that there is one God. Talk about a real declaration of monotheistic emotion. We are not just saying it, we are also witnesses to it ourselves. And with that, now I'll continue. We're on page um, 157 at the red arrow, just the words of Lador Vador, and then we'll continue silently until, well, the next red arrow. <laughs> uh, page 157. Lador Vador Ukayamushmo Kayam Kayamim. God's teaching is living and enduring, truthful and beloved throughout all time.
ברכות והודעות למלך אל חי וקיים רם ונישא גדול ונורא משפיל גאים מגביה הזה שפלים מוציא עשירים ופודה ענבים ועושה דלים תהילות לאל עליון ברוך הוא מבורך משה ומרים ובני ישראל לחנו שירה בשמחה רבה ואמרו כולם מי כמוך באלים אדוני מי כמוך נדר בקודש נורא תהילות אוסף אלה שיר החדשה שיבחו גאולים לשמך אוסף חטאים יחד כולם הודו והמליכו ואמרו אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד we rise צור ישראל קומה בעזרת ישראל ופתחינו מאחה יהודה וישראל גואלנו אדוני צבאות שמו קדוש ישראל ברוך אתה אדוני גאל ישראל Our Amidah can be found on page 159, the left side of the column, the left column. We will uh, sing these first three um, brachot together, and then I will allow you to take time. I will allow you. We will take the time for our own personal conversation with God, the Hebrew, English, whatever prayers are in your heart. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu velohe avoteinu vimoteinu Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leia Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor Vehanora El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hako וזוכר חסדי אבות ואימהות ומביא גואל לבני בניהם למען שמו באהבה מלך עוזר ופוקד ומושיע ומגן ברוך אתה אדוני מגן אברהם ופוקד שרה אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני מחיי מתים אתה רב להושיע משיב הרוח ומוריד הגשם מחלקל חיים בחסד מחיי מתים ברחמים רבים סומך נופלים ברופא חולים ומתיר אסורים ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר מי כמוך בעל גבורות ומדום אלוך מלך ממית ומחיה ומצמיח ישוע ונאמן אתה להחיות מתים ברוך אתה אדוני מחיה המתים נקדש את שמך בעולם כשם שמקדישים אותו בשמי מרום ככתוב על יד מיך וקרא זה אל זה ואמר קדוש 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 אדוני צבאות מלוך כל הארץ כבודו אז בקור רעש גדול אדיר וחזק משמיעים קור אז בקור רעש גדול אדיר וחזק משמיעים קור מתנשאים לעומת צרפים, מתנשאים לעומת צרפים, מתנשאים לעומת צרפים, לעומתם ברוך יומנו, ברוך כבוד אדוני ממקומו. ממקומך מלכנו תופיע ותמלוך עלינו, כי מחכים אנחנו לך. מתי תמלוך בציון, בקרוב יאמינו לעולם בעת תשכון, תתקדל ותתקדש בתוך ירושלים ירך, לדור ודור ולנצח נצחים. ועינינו תראנה, תראנה מלכותך, 
Kadavar ha amor beshire yuzecha All your day, David. All your day, David. All your day, David. Meshiach tzidkecha. All your day, David. All your day, David. All your day, David. Meshiach tzidkecha. Yim lo charonai leolam eloha'ich tzion ledor vador. Hallelujah. Ledor vador nagid kolecha. Ul netzach netzachim kedushat cha nakdish. Veshiv cha chaloheinu mipinu lo yomush leolam bed. Ki el melech gadol vekadosh ata baruch ata donai ha'el ha'kadosh. Grant me the liberating joy of Shabbat, the ability to truly taste its delights. May my heart not be weighed down by sorrow on this holy Shabbat. Fill the soul of your servant with gladness, for to you, Adonai, I offer my entire being. Adonai Tzuri, Adonai Tzuri, Adonai Tzuri Vegoali. O se shalom, shalom bimromav, huya ase shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Ve'imru amen. Ve'al 
כל יושבי תבל ואמרו אמן. Our service continues on page 167 with Kaddish Shalem, which will lead us directly into our Torah service. We have lots of guests coming up onto the bima this morning in honor of Phil, and so I, um, I think I, everybody is at the ready, it seems like, so on page 167. יתקדל ויתקדש שמי רבה, ואמה דברה כדותי וים נחמחותי בחיי חון ומחון ובחי תחו בית ישראל, בגלה ובזמן קריב אמרו, אמן יהי שמי רבה מברך, לעלם מולם מעלמיה, יתברך, יתברך וישתבח ויתבער ויתרמה מן הזה ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתעלה שמית קודשא, ריחו. לילם ניקו ברכת אבשר אתה תושבך אתה מלך אמת אדם איראן מעמה ואמרו אמן תתקבל סוטון ואוטון וכל ישראל קודם אבו הונדי וישמעיה ואמרו אמן יהי שלמה רבה מן שמעיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן עושה שלום במרומיו הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל ואמרו אמן פייג' 168 אין כמוך ואלוהים אדוני ואין כמעשיך מלכותך מלכות כל עולמים וממשלתך בכל דור ודור אדוני מלך אדוני מלך אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד אדוני עוז לעמו ייתן אדוני יברך את עמו ושלום אב הרחמים היטיב אוויר צאנך את ציון תבנה חומות ירושלים תבנה חומות ירושלים כי בך לבד בטחנו מלך אל רם ונישא אדון עולמים. ויהי בנשוא הארון ויאמר משה קומה אדוני ויפוצו אויביך ויאנסו משנאך מפניך כי מציון תצא תורה כי מציון תצא תורה ודבר אדוני מירושלים ברוך שנתן תורה תורה ברוך שנתן תורה תורה לעמו ישראל בקדושתו. I long to change the world, but I rarely appreciate things as they are. I know how to give, but I don't know always how to be still. I talk, but I don't often listen. I look, but I don't often see. I yearn to succeed, but I often forget what is truly important. Teach me, God, to slow down. May my resting revive me. May it lead me to wisdom, to holiness, to peace, and to you. On the bottom of page 170, the personal penitentiary prayer, no, penitent prayer, Be'anarachetz. Next time I need to write these things down. Be'anarachetz, Be'anarachetz, Ve'lishme kadisha kadisha yakira, Ana emar tushpechan, Ve'lishme kadisha kadisha yakira, Ana emar tushpechan, Yisrael, 
Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonainu Kadosh Shemo Echad Eloheinu Gadol Un romema shemo yachta. Follow me. Lecha Adonai hagedula vehagevura vehatiferet vehanetzach vehahod ki chova shamayim muva aret ki chova shamayim muva aret lecha Adonai hamam lacha. Behamit na se lecho ledosh Rommemu, Rommemu Adonai Eloheinu Vehishtachavu, Vehishtachavu Lehadam raglav kadoshu Rommemu, Rommemu Adonai Eloheinu Vehishtachavu, vehishtachavu, lehar kodsho, ki kadosh Adonai Eloheinu. Tora, 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 tziva lanu Moshe. Tora, 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 tziva lanu Moshe. Tora, 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 tziva lanu Moshe. Tora, 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 tziva lanu Moshe. Morasha kehilat Yaakov, morasha kehilat Yaakov, morasha kehilat Yaakov, tora, tziva lanu Moshe. As long as we're standing, you can take a minute to greet those around you. Say Shabbat Shalom. Very joyous morning. Shabbat Shalom. Are you Gabi Rishon today? I guess I am. Are you? No, no, not Rishon. <laughs> no, no. Change, no. change. I'm Rishon. <laughs> I know Rishon. Timmy. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom.
I hate to cut off your conversation, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I gave a Dvar Tfila earlier. Now I just wanted to give a little bit of Dvar Torah because uh, it would be, uh, I think I would be remiss if I didn't at least tell you what our Torah portion was today and what was going on. So this week's Torah portion is Vayeshev. Vayeshev begins the four Parsha saga of Joseph's story. Um, and I think this is one of the most, um, what, what did I read? Well-articulated narratives of our Bible. We have character development. We have lots of emotional words, which is not often something that we get. We have a really crafted arc of Joseph's tale from beginning to end. Um, and uh, I am blessed that I have a mother who's a rabbi. So as soon as I said I was alone this morning and that I was going to offer Devar Torah, she sent me links to everything on the planet um, so that I was well-informed and well-versed. So I wanted to offer part of, um, part of a drash that was written by Rabbi Sachs. Um, he is, I don't think he's chancellor anymore, but so it, it is really beautiful. And he focuses on a seemingly sort of passing moment in our Torah portion that doesn't seem to be important, but it is. So, oh, this is what he said. It is the longest, most tightly scripted of all our narratives of the Torah. And nothing is there by accident. Every detail counts. One moment, however, seems gloriously irrelevant. And it is this that contains one of the most beautiful of the Torah's ideas. With great speed, we are introduced to the broad lines of the story. Joseph is envied and hated by his brothers. So deep is the animosity that they can't even talk peaceably with, with Joseph. We read, um, he couldn't speak to them le shalom. So the brothers couldn't speak to Joseph with any kind of peace. And now the brothers have left home to tend their sheep. And Jacob tells Joseph to go and see how they're doing. This encounter will set in motion this central drama from which all else follows, the moment when the brothers sell Joseph into Egypt as a slave. But it nearly didn't happen. Joseph arrives in Shechem, where he expects his brothers to be, but they're not there. He might as well have wandered around for a while and then, failing to find them, gone home. If that had happened, none of the events that take up the rest of the Torah would have happened. No Joseph as a slave, no Joseph the viceroy, no Joseph the dreamer, no storage of food during the years of plenty, no descent of Joseph's family to Egypt, no exile, no slavery, no exodus. The entire story wouldn't happen. The already revealed and broad outlines to Abraham in a night vision would have been derailed. Then we read the following. And this is Genesis 37, verses 15 to 17. If you want to look at the Hebrew, I'm going to say it in the English. A man found Joseph wandering around in the fields and asked him, what are you looking for? He replied, I'm looking for my brothers. Can you tell me where they are grazing their flocks? They have moved on from here, the man answered. I heard them say, let's go to Dotan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them near Dotan. And it is there that the brothers then take Joseph and throw him in a pit and the rest of the, follow, the story follows. So then, uh, Rabbi Sachs goes on to say, I know of no comparable passage in the Torah. Three verses dedicated to an apparently trivial, eminently forgettable detail of someone having to ask for directions from a stranger. But who was this unnamed man? And what conceivable message does the episode hold for future generations? I will also offer how in the world did this man know who Joseph's brothers were, since he never offered them their names. Rashi says, he was the angel Gabriel. Ibn Ezra, a later commentator, says he was a passerby. Rambam, however, says that the Holy One, blessed be he, sent him as a guide without his knowledge. I am not sure whether Rambam meant without Joseph's knowledge or without the guide's knowledge. I prefer to think both. The anonymous man, so the Torah is intimating, represented an intrusion of providence to make sure that Joseph went to where he was supposed to be so that the rest of the drama could unfold. He might not have known he had such a role. Joseph surely did not know. 
To put it simply as I can, he was an angel who didn't know he was an angel. He had a vital role in the story. Without him, it would not have happened. But he had no way of knowing at the time the significance of his intervention. The message could not be more significant. When heaven intends something to happen, and it seems to be impossible, sometimes it sends an angel down to earth. An angel who didn't know he or she was an angel to move the story from here to there. Rabbi Sachs goes on to describe two uh, stories of angels who didn't know they were angels that occurred in more contemporary history, uh, one having to do with, um, with the Rothschilds and the proclamation of the state of Israel, and the other one um, having to do with um, uh, Harry Truman, actually, and the recognition of the state of Israel. And I'm happy to share his words, but I wanted to go in a slightly different direction, as Rabbi Kaplan always likes to bring it back to us, right, and to our relevance, uh, relevance in our current lives. I think, I, at least I have had the experience of having these kinds of angels in my path. People who steered me in a direction that really defined the way my life would go. And I'm wondering, as we're sitting here, and I'll give you sort of time to process that statement, I want you to think about who are those angels who had no idea that they were angels, who really influenced the course of your life. It could have been, for me, it was one person who said, have you ever thought about cantorial school? I'm not kidding. He had no idea the kind of path he was going to set me on. Uh, another angel in my life was, have you ever thought about moving to Arizona? Right? And not only did I move to Arizona to be a cantor here at Orzion, but who knew that I would meet my husband here, that I would get married here, that I'd hopefully start a family here? Who knew that these things would happen? So those are just two examples of angels for me. So as we're sitting here, as we're reading through our, our Parshat Vayeshev, as we're thinking about, as Phil is thinking about sort of the glorious moments that brought him to this grand birthday that he's having, and as we're thinking about these moments in our lives, as we're sitting here, just, just name for yourself. Who are those sort of hidden angels in your lives that steered you to where you are now? And if you're so inclined, as the secular New Year is upon us, you can even reach out, give them a call, and say, hey, thanks, guess what you did? Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Thank you. Our Torah reading this morning, I hope I don't steal your thunder, Alan, is Parshat Vayeshev. We're going to be in the larger red volume, just this guy, um, our Chumash Etz Chaim, um, and our, we begin on page 226. Um, verse, uh, chapter 37, verse 1, and I invite Ben Horowitz, Phil's grandson, to read our first two aliyot. Rachel, Rishon, Baruch Shon, Tantaro, Lomay Yisrael, Bikdu, Shoto, Batemet, Vakim, Baranai, Lohechem, Chayim, Kolchem, Hayom. Top of page 226. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim Venatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Amen Vayeshev Yaakov Aretz Megareh Aviv Aretz Kanaan Elet Tolof Yaakov Yosef Ben Shiva Yisrash Nahayarayet Achivat son, Vahu Naar, Epine Bilha, Via Pene Silpa, Neshe Aviv, Via Bo Yosef, Etivatam, Roet Alvihem, Roet Rael Avihem, Via Israel, Ahab, Yosef, Mikobana, Kovain, Zukoni, Hulo, 
Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher natan lanu Torah emet, v'chayim olam nata b'chotenu, Baruch atah Adonai, noten ha-Torah. Amen. Yamod, Pinchas ben Moshe ha-Levi, Levi. Second Aliyah will be verse number four, page 200, top of page 227. Baruch Adonayam Baruch Lolam Boed. Baruch Adonayam Baruch Lolam Boed. Baruch Olam. Asher Bachar Bono Mikal Hoamim. Banosa Lono as Torah so. Baruch Adonayam no say not Amen. Kyoto <laughs> Vehine to Sabena, Lomate, Hem, Vishakavena, Lelumati. Baruchat Otter Noel, Hainu Melech Olam, Asher Nosan Lano, Taras, Emes, Bechai Olam, Notaba Sohenu, Baruchat Otter Noel, No Sena Torah. Amen. Amen. Before you leave, as um, uh, Phil's son and grandchildren come up on the Bima, and we're surrounded, Phil, you're surrounded by your kids, your grandkids. Where are those great grandbabies over there? You want to come on up? You want to come on up while we get your, give your great grandfather uh, a blessing? Come on up. Don't be shy. You don't have to do anything. Just stand here and look cute. <laughs> so I want everybody to huddle in to, uh, to Phil over here. Phil, I must say, I am very honored that we can celebrate this moment with you together here at Orzion. Um, one of the things I've seen is that you organize the shuttle from your development to come here. And um, hi, guys. Thanks for joining us. Um, I see some of you every week because of that shuttle, including you. And I am really touched by your devotion to be here on Shabbat. And as you're surrounded here by your family, who will be helping read Torah, who has been helping with honors, this is the legacy that you and your wife built. These are your your children, your grandchildren, and Amachaya, all these great-grandchildren. The greatest possession. This is the reason why, this is the reason why it all paid off, right? This is, it is really the glory and the really, uh, to offer you COVID, to really offer you respect and honor that you have built this beautiful family that surrounds you. And as you celebrate this, can I tell everybody what birthday it is? Can I tell everybody how old you are or will be in a couple days? Good, loud and proud. Phil is going to be 99 years old. And really, exactly, kolakavod to the family that you've built and for getting to this point in life, I'm going to offer you a Misha Berach for this very special birthday of yours. Misha Berach, avotenu Abraham Yitzchak v'yakov, imotenu sararib karach avleyah, hu yivarech et pinchas ben Moshe halevi, sh'alah hayom l'ichvod ha-makom v'lichvod ha-Torah, V'lichvod ha-Shabbat U'l'hodot l'shem kodsho Al kol ha-chesed asher gemalo Miyom hivaldo ad hayom hazeh Ha-Kadosh baruchu yishmod oto Mikol nega u-machala V'yosif lo shenot chayim le'im B'riot ve'ahava Shalom v'shalva V'yishlach bracha v'yatzlacha B'chol ma'aseh yadav עם כל ישראל אחיו ואחיותיו, ונאמר אמן. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless Phil, who has ascended today to honor God, the Torah, and Shabbat, and this very special birthday. 
and to thank God for all the blessings God has bestowed upon him from the day of his birth until today. May God protect him from all disease and illness, bless him with an even longer life, ad me ave stream at the very least, with a long life filled with good health and love, which I feel it in spades up here, and may God set blessing and success to all of your worthy endeavors, as together we say, Amen. Amen. And in celebration of this moment, I offer the blessing of Shehechianu, when we thank God for giving us the strength to come to these momentous and wonderful occasions. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehechianu vikimanu vehigianu lazman hazeh Ah, 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 amen. Mazal tov, Phil. Mazal tov. We'll continue with our third aliyah, but the celebration won't stop there. <laughs> <laughs> Yamdu, Zev Avraham ben Pinchas Halevi, Shlomo Yaakov ben Lev Halevi, Vechaya Tova bat Lev Halevi, Shali Shi. Third Aliyah will be verse number eight, bottom of page 227. Baruch Adonai Hambarach, Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Ha'amim, Benatan Lanu Et Torato, Baruch Adonai Hosein HaTorah. Amen. Amen. Vayom Rulo Echav, Pamaloch Timloch Aleinu, Imishol Timshol Beno, Vayosifu Od Senauto, Al Chalamota Veal Dvarav, Vayechalom Od Chalom Echad Vaysaper Oto, Leachi Vayomer Hine Halom Halom Ti Halom Od Vehine Hashemesh Vahayareach Vechad Asar Kochavim Mistachavim Li Vaisaper Elaviv Vialechav Vayigar Boavi Vayomer Lo Mahachalom Haze Asher Chalam Tahavo Navo Ani Vimcha Viachecha Lehishtachavot Lecha Arza Vayakanu Vo Achecha Echav Viaviv Shamar Et Hadavar Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Temet Bechaye Olam Nota Bezocheinu Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Ta'amod Magali Talia, but Dorni Vachayim Rivi. Verse number 12, bottom of page 228.
that's like a she might yeah. Bar, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Is that helpful? Got it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Kiss it. Kiss it to her. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach. I don't know, I'm not sure. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim, Venatan Lanu Et Torato, Baruch Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Amen, Vayochu Echav Lirod, Et Son Avichem Bishchem, Vayomer Yisrael, Et Gol Yosef, Chalo Achecha Roim Bishchem, Lecha Vyeshlechacha Aleihem, Vayomer Lo Chineni, Vayomer Lo Lech Narei, Et shalom echecha v'et shalom atzohon v'hashiveni davar v'yishlache hu hu meim echevrohon v'yavo shir shechema v'yimtza ehu ihish v'hine toa besadeh v'yishale hu ha'yish lemor mat v'kehish v'yomer et achai anochi m'vakesh hagida na lihi efo hem roim v'yomer ha'yish nasu mizeh ki shamati umrihim Nelchad do Taina, Vayelech Yosef, Acharecha, Vayim Taehim, Bedo Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Nachtan Lanu Torat Emet V'chaye Olam Natan V'tochenu Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Ya Amod Michael Ben Yaakov Chamishi, verse number 18, bottom of page 229. Just Baruch Adonai Hashem Baruch Lei Olam Voed Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bachar Bonu Mikol Amin Venotan Lano Et Toroto Baruch Atah Adonai Noten Atorah Amen. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Vayomer ish el aviv hine baal Achomoto telot baal Vaytnu lechol vanir gehu Vanish lechehu biod haborot Vayomarnu hu raya elchenu Achaltanu Vinire Maya Marvid Chalomota Vaishma Ruvenu Vitsalenu Yadam Vayomer Vayomer Lone Chenu Nafesh Vayomer Elohim Ruve Alehem Ruvain Al Tishvecho Dom Tashri Chehu Oto Al El Habor Hazer Asher Bamid Bar Beyad Al Tishachehu Voleman Hatsileo Tomi Adam Vahashivo El Aviv Borukhatari Noi Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Notan Lano Torah Emet Vachaye Olam Notap Tochenu Borukhatari Noi Notain HaTorah Amen. Yamdu Chanabat Eliezer Vimiriam Vishmuel Ben David Vesimcha 
she, she. Uh, before Maddie descends from the BMI, I just wanted to give her a little bit of COVID. Maddie has uh, just finished her first semester at American University in DC. She has survived both her classes and the cold. And we are happy to have her back in sunny Arizona for a little bit until uh, second semester calls you back. But mazel tov and kola kavod for finishing this moment, for finishing this first semester and coming out unscathed. <laughs> Shabbat shalom. <laughs> Verse number 23, middle of page 230. <laughs> Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher bachar banu mikol hamim, Benatan lanu et toratu, Baruch atah Adonai, Noten ha Torah. Amen. Vayehi. Kasher ba Yosef el echav, vayaf shi tu et Yosef et kutan to, et kuton et apasim asher alav. Vayikachu, vayashlichu oto, habora behaborek, ein bo maim. Vayeshvu la echolechem, Vais u enehem, Vair u, Vair u, Vehine Orchat Yishmaelim, Baa Migil ad, Ugmalehem nos im, Nechot Utsre valot, Holchim, Lehorid Mitzraima, Vayomer Yehuda el Echav, Ma betza. Ki naharog et achinu, vichisinu et damo. Lehu venim karnu la yishmaelim, viadenu altihibo. Ki achinu vasarenu, hu, vayishme uhu echav. Vayavru et yosef anashim midianim. Soharim, Vaim Shehu, Vea Alu, et Yosef min Habor, Vaim Keru, et Yosef, La Laishma Elim, Be Esrim Kasef, Vaya Vihu, et Yosef, Mitzraima. Baruchata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher natan lanu Torah temet Bechaye olam nata betochenu Baruch ata Adonai Noten ha Torah Amen Yamod Mordechai ben Avraham v'Rachel, Shivi. Okay, so I have to give a little bit more COVID. I'm sorry. This is a surprise to me. Mm. Hannah, happy birthday. When is your actual birthday? Christmas, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Okay. Uh, good. Erev Chag is actually Hannah's birthday. Um, and in celebration, we're actually going to be having a Hanukkah party here, the great Latka cook-off. Um, I don't think we'll be sticking birthday candles. Well, maybe we should stick a birthday candle in a latka. <laughs> so happy, happy birthday, Hannah. And it's lovely to have you here with us. Verse number 29, bottom of page 231. Baruch Adonai Hamvarah. Baruch Adonai Hamvarah Leolam Vaed. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bohar Banu Mikol Hamim V'natan Lanu Et Tarato 
Baruch atah Adonai notain ha-torah. Amen. Amen. Vayashav ruvain el ha-be'or, v'hine ein Yosef be'bar, v'yikra et begadav, v'yashav el ha-chav v'yomar, ha-yelet einenu v'ani ana ani Vayekhu et ketonet Yosef, Vayeshritu Sirizim, Vayet Belu et Hakutonet Badam, Vay Shilehu et Ketonet Hapisim, Vayaviu el Avihem, Vayomeru Zot Ha Matsanu, Hakerna, Hakutonet Bincha, Hivim Lo. Vayakira, Vayomer, Ketonet Bini, Kayare Achalatnu, Tarof Toraf, Tarof Toraf Yosef, Vayikra Yaakov Simlotav, Vayasem Sak Bimatav, Vayit Bael, Vayit Bael El Beno Yamin Rabim, Vayakumu. Call the Nava, call the Nata, the Naka Mo, Vai Machain, the Hit Nahaim, Vayomer, Ki a raid, Elbeni, a veil, Sheola, Vay a vague Oto Aviv, Vay Hit Manan, Vahat Mananim, Machor, Vaoto, El Mitzrayim, the Foti Far Saris Paro. Sarah Havahi. Eloheinu Mela Haolam. Asher Natan Lano Torah, Emet Vahaye Olam Nata Bitochenu. Borah Atah Adonai, Notain Hatorah. Amen. At this time, we're going to take a pause. I actually want to offer another little uh, Dvar Torah, which is actually pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to sit down. Yeah, you can sit down for just a second. Okay, so if we're looking at our Chumash, sorry about that. Okay. I wanted to, this is something that I learned again from one of the many uh, pieces of email that my mother sent me. Um, it's a good one, though. Okay, so the question was, did the brothers actually sell Yosef? Did the brothers actually sell their brother into slavery? We all say yes, correct? Okay, now let's look at the text because this kind of blew my mind. Okay, so we have, uh, let's see. So the brothers, uh, wait, I have to go back to where it is again. Okay, so the brothers have taken Joseph and at first they want to kill him and throw their body, and throw Joseph's body into this empty uh, hole into this bore, right? Into this, um, right, into this hole. Ravine? Oh, interesting. Ravine, bore. I, I actually thought bore was hole. In any case, they wanted to basically kill him first and then throw his body, never to be found again. Reuven steps in and says, let's not kill him. Let's just throw him into the bore. Let's just throw him into this hole, right? And the idea is that, so the brothers think that let's just throw him into the boar and just let him die in there. But Reuven's thought, right, Adam, so that Reuven would save them, save Joseph from his brothers, Lehashivo El Aviv, and bring him back to his father. Okay. So they, they, I guess this sounds good because what they do is they see Joseph, they take his, they take his tunic, the, the coat of many colors, it was red and yellow and... Okay, forget it. Um, at the, at the, the, the Ketona Tapasim, and they throw him into the well, or pit. They throw him into the pit. Maybe pit is a better word than hole or ravine. Okay. Then what do they do? They take a lunch break. Okay? So they go to have something to eat. And while they're eating and sort of, sort of thinking about what they should do to their sibling... Vayiru, they look up and they say, hey, check it out. Look over there. There's a caravan of Ishmaelites. So then Judah comes up with, now this is like the third plan. Ooh, instead of killing him at all, let's sell him 
to the Yishmaelim, to the Ishmaelites, to that caravan, we'll sell him. And then we don't have any blood on our hands and we have our brother out of the picture. Perfect solution. It is unknown, to me it's unknown if Judah was still thinking the brothers were going to kill Joseph and this was his way of saving Joseph. That's another thought. Okay, now we look at verse 28, okay? We've been talking about Ishmaelites, right? Now we read, Vaya'avru anashim midianim socharim. Now we see Midianite traders are passing by. And what happens? Vayim shechu vaya'alu et Yosef min habor. We are told they take Joseph out of the pit. Who is they? Ah, is they the brothers? Or is it the Midianim, the Midianites? So is it the Midianites that took him out of the pit? Vayim keru et Yosef? And then they sell Joseph to the Ishmaelites? So now the text is unclear. Is it the brothers who took the... Is it the brothers who actually sold them, or was it the Midianites who got to the pit first, saw this kid, and was like, hey, check it out, we can make some money, took him out of the pit, and sold him to the Ishmaelites? This is not my idea. This is from a rabbi, I think his name is Foreman. Um, and, but this sort of, this idea blew my mind, right? So who really sold Joseph? It might not have been his brothers. It might have been the Midianites. Yes, Chana. Ah, no, you're getting ahead of me. <laughs> you're getting ahead of me because then we read that Reuven, Vayashov Reuven el Habor. Reuven comes back to the pit. Vihine, and look, and Yosef. There's no Joseph. And he, what does he do? He rends his clothing, right? This is an act of mourning. So Reuven came back to the pit hoping to save his brother, as we learned earlier, to bring him back to dad, right? But now he sees that he's not there. And then he reads, Vayoshev el Echav, Vayashov el Echav. He goes back to his brothers, Vayomer, Hayel we don't, we, the kid isn't there. He's gone. Right? Now he's gone. So now, this is now yet a third thing. So maybe the brothers didn't actually sell Joseph. Maybe they were still hanging out at lunch, waiting to figure out what to do, waiting for the Ishmaelites to come closer, and the Midianites got there first grabbed Joseph, sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites. Reuben comes back to the pit, intending to save his brother. Oh no, oops, brother's not there. And he's now in a state of mourning because he has no idea what happened to his brother. And when he goes back to his own brothers, he goes back to them. Does that mean he goes back to lunch, where the, wherever they were? Or were the brothers, the other brothers involved in selling Joseph? It is ambiguous. We are not sure now. Um, so then, what do they do? Then they have this plan. Oh, whoops, we have no idea where Joseph went. He's not in the pit. All right, we have his coat of many colors, and that's when they decide to, um, to um, cover it in blood, to smear it in blood, and say that a wild animal consumed Joseph. So now we're left with, maybe they had no idea what happened to Joseph. So when they do, in a few parshiot, in a few more Torah portions, go down to Egypt, and Joseph reveals himself as the viceroy of Egypt, they are indeed taken aback. Not only did they not expect him there, they had no idea where he was. They didn't know if he was sold into slavery. They didn't know if he escaped. They didn't know if he died. They had no idea. So it lends a whole different um, sort of dimension to this narrative. And one of the things that Rabbi Foreman goes on to say is, what does this do to our understanding of, um, of, of culpability, right? So maybe the brothers didn't directly sell Joseph into slavery, but they created this situation enabling it to happen. So then he goes on to say, what would the, when, the, when the scholars were discussing this, and it comes up in the Talmud as they're discussing this, of what is, who is capable, uh, of who is culpable, not capable, culpable. Okay, so in the Talmud they say, if you directly cause, um, an accident. If you directly cause something, then you are, in fact, monetarily culpable in a human court of law. Okay? Did I get that right? 
Okay. <laughs> But if you indirectly cause something, and there's a visual, this is actually a YouTube. So the visual is someone running into a pole, and the pole smushes a house, like falls on a house. The person driving the car caused the accident that caused the damage, they are liable. So then we have an indirect causation. So then the, the picture that they have is someone is driving a car, throws a banana peel out of the car. Another car comes by, somehow slips on a banana peel, Hits the, hits the telephone pole and it smushes the tree. So the person who caused the direct damage is still culpable, however, in a, court of, in a human court of law. But what about the person who threw the banana peel and caused the whole situation to happen? In a, in a court of law, um, unless you watch lots of law and order, you're not liable, <laughs> except under certain circumstances, but you're not liable. You're not, you're not gonna give any sort of monetary compensation. But then the Talmud goes to say, however, in the court of God, right, Bishiva Shalmala, in the court of God, you are in fact responsible. So the brothers might not have directly caused this. Maybe their initial intention at the beginning of our story is to kill Joseph out of anger. But then as time passes, their anger subsides and they start to think about really the sort of ramifications of the situation. They go back. He's gone. So even if they were not going to do anything destructive, they are already, they indirectly caused Joseph to be sold into slavery. And so in the, in the sort of according to the laws of heaven, God would still find them and God does still find them responsible for what happens to Joseph as the rest of the story unfolds. I thought this was a fantastic teaching, and I can, uh, after Shabbat, send you the link to the YouTube um, if you want to look more into that. But it really lets, makes us think about sort of this idea of culpable, who is, even if you're indirect, the indirect cause of something, what really is your responsibility in that situation? And how do we view our own culpability, and how do we view our actions in terms of making amends? Just another thought as we continue our Torah portion with our Maftir. Thank you again for indulging me in that um, moment. Our prayer for healing. Oh, I have to do a prayer for healing and I have to do a Chati Kaddish. This is why we have, this is why we have Gabbai's. <laughs> before we get too carried away. Um, where is my Misha Berach list? That's the art side. <laughs> another color other than the one that was there. <laughs> so we, our Shabbat handout, we'll have a list of our events for the coming weeks. It's very worthwhile to have. Um, at this moment, we will say a prayer of healing for those in our community who are sick and in need of our prayers. As I, I have a list in front of me, but as I go around, um, our eyes meet if you want to stand and offer any names of those who you are um, thinking of at this moment. Please feel free to do so. Shelly Friedman, Lea Sara Batrina Batsion B. Siegel, Barry Castleman, Howard Smigel, Ken Dorf, Marty Cohen, Chaim Leb Ben Pinchas, Bezelda, Tommy Trow, Nicole Gurek, Lorraine, Carmen, Bat Sheva, Bat Chava Esther, David Goldstein, Jan Stearns, Arlene Dworkis, Neil Pleasant, Eleanor Manis, Doris Kresnow, Barak Ben Bracha. Are there others for Misha Bera? Joni. Abby? HaKadosh Baruch Hu Yivarech Otam Sorry There it is Hu Yivarech Mirape Et HaKolim HaKadosh Baruch Hu Yimale Racham Yimale Hem Lachazi Kamur Poatam Yishlach Put Lahem Mera Refua Shlema Min HaShamayim Refuat HaNefesh Urefuat HaGuf Betoch Shar Cholim Mechazek Et Itei HaOskim Betzorchehem Shabbat Hi Milizok Urefua Krova Lavo Hashtah Bagalavis Man Kari Venomar 
Amen. We rise for the Chatzik Kaddish on page 174. <laughs> Vimaru, <laughs> Dami Rambi Allah, Vimaru Amen. Yeah, you, you may be seated. Yeah, Amod. Yehoshua ben Leib Vachaya Gittel. Maftir. We're on verse number 34, middle of page 232. You guys are so pushy. Baruch Hu Adonai Hamba Baruch. Baruch Adonai Baruch Leolam. 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 Vayetabel el beno yamin rabim, Vayakumu kobana vachobino tov lenachamo, Vama ein lechitane nitnachem, Vayomer ki ered el beni ebel sheula, Vayeveko to aviv, Vahemid naim, Machro machru oto el mitzrayim, the forty four series paro sar hata bachim. Boruch atar and oi, Lahainu Malech, Olam Ashen, Otan Lan Utarad, Emet, Vachaye, Olam Natab, Tochenu, Boruch atar and oi, Notain Hatarah. Amen. Yamod, Hamad Beat, Hamad Haglolet. Please rise as we lift the Torah. Oh, I thought Allison was lifting. Allison. Oh. One. Vezo Tatora Asher Samoshe Livne Vene Israel Al Piadonai Miad Moshe. You want to announce the Haftarah or should I? Oh, I got it. Okay. I don't have it here. Okay. Our Haftarah for this morning can be found in the same volume. Um, it is, uh, sorry, give me six. There we go. Uh, we are on page 247 as Steve Schlosser, Schlosser will offer the Haftarah for this morning. Uh, we are reading from Amos, our prophet. Again, that is page 247. And whenever you're ready, sir. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech alam, Asher bachar b'nevi'im tovim, V'ratzah b'devrei hem anemarin b'emet. Baruch atah Adonai, Abocher b'atorah v'moshe abdo, V'yisrael amo, Nevi'e ha'met v'atzedek. Ko amar Adonai, asher lo shapeshe Yisrael, v'yaral ba'al ashivenu, al michram ba'kesef tzadik, v'evyon ba'avur na'alayim. Hashalafim al afar eretz v'rosh talim, v'derech anavim yatu, V'yishva'aviv, 
Yelechu et hana ara leman chalel et shem kachi. While begadim chavulim yatu et sel kol mizbeach v'yein anushim ishto ishtu beid elohehem v'anochi hashmad hashmati at ha'emori mipnehem. Asher kigova arazim gav hu gav ho v'chason hu kalonim v'ashmi perim imal v'sharashav mitachat v'anochi elit eliti etchem eretz mitzrayim v'alek. Et chem ba midbar abayim shana la resh et et eretz ha emori va akim ibne chem le nivim umim bachure chem le nitzirim ha af ein zot bene Israel na umadonai. Vatashku et hanizirim yayin yayin val hanivim tzivitem le mor lo tinaveu hine anuchi meik techetechem kaasher taki hagala hamilea la amir. Vavad manos mikal, lechazak lo yameitz kolcho, vegibor lo yamaleit nafsho. Vitofes ha keshet lo yamod, vekal berag lav lo yamaleit, verochev hasus lo yamaleit nafsho. Vamitz, vamitz, libal big borim, arom yanus bayom hahuna umadonai. Shimu et hadavar hazeh, asher deber adonai alechem bene Yisrael, al hakol hamishpacha, Asher ha'eleiti me'eretz mitzrayim le'mor. Rak etchem yadati mikol mishpechot adama. Akein efkod alechem et kol avnotechem. Ha'yelechu shinayim yachdov. Yachdav bilti im noadu hayashak ar ye ba yar v'teref ein lo hayitain kefir kolo mimonato bilti im lachad hati pol sipur al pacha aretz. Humo kesh ein la haya ale pak min hadama vilachod lo yilkod im yitaka shofa beir vam lo yecheradu im tiyera beir vadonai lo asar. Ki lo yase Adonai Elohim davar ki im galaso do el avadav hanevim ayeshak mi lo yira Adonai Elohim diver mi lo yinave. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam Sukal alamim tzadik b'kol adorot Ha'el ha'neman ha'omer v'yoseh Hamadaver makayim Shekol devarav edmet v'atzedek 
Neeman atahu adonai lohenu v'neemarin devarecha v'davarecha midvarecha achalo yashov rekam ki al melech neeman v'rachaman ata baruch ata adonai ha'el neeman bechol derecha rachem al tzion ki veit chayenu aluvash nefesh toshia b'mei ravi amenu baruch ata adonai v'sameach tzion b'vanecha Samchenu Adonai Leheinu Be'elo Hanavi Avdecha Machut Be'i David Mishichecha V'mhei Rav Yavo V'yageli Be'enu Al Kiso Lo Yeshev Zar V'lo Yinchalu Od Acherim Et Kivodo Ki B'Shem Kachecha Nishpata Lo Shelo Yichabed Me'i Rav Le'olam V'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Mogein David Al HaTorah, V'yal Avodah, V'yal Nevi'im, V'yal Yom HaShabbat Hazeh, Shinatata Lanu Adonai Eloheinu L'Kdusha L'cha, L'cha Avodu L'Tifaret. Al HaKol Adonai Eloheinu Anachnu Modin Lach, Umurachim Otach, Yitbarach Shimcha B'Fikochai, Tamid L'Yalam V'Ed, Baruch Ata Adonai. Mekadesh HaShabbat Amen Yeshakoch, Steve, thank you for offering the words of Amos for us this morning. Um, we continue in our, we're back to our Sidurim. As we turn to page 176, we will invite, um, we have a prayer for our congregation, which I believe will be offered by Steve Horwitz this morning. And actually, as Steve, as you're walking up here, I just want to, no, you're good, come on up. I just wanted to say the next time we open the ark, I want you to keep an eye that we have two new Torah covers that have been finished by Rita Schlosser, and they're really gorgeous. We had three Torah covers representing the three festivals, Sukkot, Shavuot, and Pesach. I know I did them in the wrong order. Um, and now we have two more that join the party. We have one for Rosh Chodesh, the new moon, which is really just stunning. And then we also have a Torah cover uh, for Shabbat. So uh, just keep an eye out when the ark is open the next time. And if you want to come and see them up close, I give you permission. We continue on page. I'm sorry. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> so thank you, Rita, for that labor of love that really just enhances our prayer and our Torot. Um, that is called Hidur Mitzvah, beautifying a mitzvah. Again, on page 176, we have the prayer for our congregation. A prayer for the congregation. May heaven bestow deliverance on this holy congregation, the adults and their children. May kindness, love, and compassion along life abundant provision and sustenance from heaven, bodily health and spiritual enlightenment be their lot. May their children, children thrive, never ceasing to speak words of Torah, nor ever neglecting them. May the sovereign of the universe bless you according to a full life, add to your days and grant you a long life. May you be freed from all distress and difficult circumstance now and always. May the Master in heaven sustain you at all times and seasons, and let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you. We continue on the next page with a prayer for our country, which will be offered by Debbie Horwitz. Oh, I did say Deborah earlier, sorry. Same person. Deborah, Debbie, and Steve are all children. Daughter-in-law, Daughter okay. Our God and God of our ancestors, with mercy, accept our prayer on behalf of our country and its government. Pour out your blessings upon this land, upon its inhabitants, and upon its leaders, its judges, officers, and officials who faithfully devote themselves to the needs of the public. Help them understand the rules of justice you have decreed so that peace and security, happiness and freedom will never depart from our land. Adonai, God, whose spirit is in all creatures, we pray that your spirit be awakened within all the inhabitants of our land, uproot from our hearts hatred and malice, jealousy and strife, plant love and companionship, peace and friendship among the many peoples and faiths who dwell in our nation. Grant us the knowledge to judge justly, 
the wisdom to act with compassion, and the understanding and courage to root out poverty from our land. May it be your will that our land be a blessing to all who dwell on earth, and may you cause all peoples to dwell in friendship and freedom. Speedily fulfill the vision of your prophets. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. For all of them, from the least of them to the greatest, shall know me. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. We continue with Birkat Choda. No? What am I doing? Oh, prayer for peace. Okay. Helen, come on up and lead us with our prayer for peace, which can be, sorry, I didn't mean to do that, um, which can be found on page 178 at the bottom of the page. We'll read responsively. Just in front of the microphone. May, may we see the day when war and bloodshed cease, when a great peace will embrace the whole world. The nation will not threaten nation, and the human family will not again know war. For all who live on earth shall realize we have not come into being to hate or to destroy. We have come into being to praise, to labor, and to love. Compassionate God, bless the leaders of all nations with the power of compassion. Fulfill the promise conveyed in scripture. I will bring peace to the land, and you shall lie down, and no one shall terrify you. I will rid the land of vicious beasts, and it shall not be ravaged by war. Let justice and righteousness flow like a mighty stream. Let God's peace fill the earth as the waters fill the sea. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you. We now continue. I think I got this right. We now continue with um, Birkata Chodesh, the blessing for our new month. Um, our new month of Tevet will begin actually next Shabbat. Um, and you'll hear that when I make the announcement. It is customary to stand because we are bringing the Torah forward to join, to join us. On page 180, I'm actually going to offer this top paragraph in the English because it's a really gorgeous text. May it be your will, Adonai our God and God of our ancestors, grant that this coming month bring us goodness and blessing and bestow on us a long life. A life that is peaceful, a life that is good, a life that is blessed, a life with proper sustenance, a life with physical vitality, a life conscious of heaven's demands and weary of sin, a life free of shame and reproach, a life of abundance and honor, a life of love of Torah, conscious of heaven's demands, a life in which the worthy desires of our hearts are fulfilled as we say, Amen. Mishe Hasani Sim Lavotenu Ul Imotenu Begalo Tame Avdut Lechedut Huyik Alotanu Bekaro Vika Bates Nirachinu Merba Confotaret Chaverim Kol Yisrael Venomar Amen. Rohosh Chodesh Tevet he ebe yom shabbat kodesh haba u le mochorato ba yom rishon ahaba alenu vel ko yisrael le tova. The new month of Tevet will begin next Shabbat Kodesh and the day afterwards, Sunday. May it hold blessing for us and for all the people Israel. Yechad shehu hakadosh baruchu. Aleinu ve'al kol amo beit Yisrael Yechad shehu hakadosh baruch hu Aleinu ve'al kol amo beit Yisrael Lechaim u'leshalom amen Lihesason u'lsimcha amen Lihishua u'nechama Venomar amen we continue with our service. You may be seated. Page 181. And we are inviting Ezra Horowitz up to the Bima to lead us in Ashray on page 181. Ooh. Okay. Tehila al David, Aramim ka el hai hamela, Bavir hashim chale lam vaet. Gadol adonayim holal meyod, Ligadula to win hey care. 
הדרק עבוד הודך, ודברי נפלותך אסיך. זה קרב טבעך יביאו, וצדקתך ירעננו. טוב אדוני לכל, ורחמיו על כל מעשיו. כבוד מלכותך יאמרו, ובגבורתך ידברו. מלכותך מלכו כל העולמים, וממשלתך בכל דור ודור. עיני כל אלך יסברו, ואתה נותן להם את כולם ביתו. צדיק אדוני בכל דרכיו, וחסיד בכל מעשיו. רצון יראיו יעשה, ואת שוותם ישמע ויושיעם. תהילת אדוני ידבר פי, ויברא כל בשר שם קודשו לעולם ועד. ואנחנו נברך יא מעצב יד עולם. Hallelujah. We rise as we turn to page 183. We uh, begin the process of putting the Torah back into its home. Ya hallelujah, Shem Adonai, ki nizgav, Shem olivado, hodo al eretz, v'shamayim, v'yadem keren liyamo, tehillah lecho, chasidav, livne Yisrael am kerovo, hallelujah, hallelujah, mizmar le David, Havul Adonai B'neilim, Havul Adonai K'avot, Havul Adonai K'avot Shemo, Ishtach Havul Adonai V'hidrat Kodesh. Kol Adonai Ahamayim, Ahakavot Hirim, Adonai Amayim Rabim, Kol Adonai Chotzev Lavotesh. Oh, did I mess up? Yachil Adonai Midbar Kadesh Kol Adonai Echol Elai Alot I think I skipped something, that's okay. Vayeches of Yearot Uvheichalo Kulo Omer Kavod Adonai Lamavul Yasha Vayeshev Adonai Melech Leolam Adonai Oz Lehamo Yiten Adonai evarech et amo v'shalom uvnucho yomar. Shuva Adonai rivivot of Yisrael, kuma Adonai limnucha techa ata ve'adon uzecha. Goanecha yil b'shut tzedek v'chasidecha yiraneinu. Bavur David avdecha al tashev p'nei meshichecha. Ki lakak tov natati lachem torati al ta'azovu. עץ חיים היא למה חזיקים בה ותומכיה מאושר דרכיה דרכי נועם וכל נתיבותיה שלום השיבנו אדוני אליך ונשובה חדש, חדש ימינו, חדש ימינו כקדם. We remain standing for our Musaf service, which will be led by Ben Horwitz this morning. We begin with the Chatzik Kaddish on page 184.
Amen. Yehesh me rabba mevorach leolam olam me omaya. Hit barak vish tabak vish bar vish ramam vid nase vish adar vish ale vish alal shemay de kudasha brichu leelam in kobir chasav shirasa tush bechasav nechemasa. Damiram Yama Vimeru Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Elohe Avosenu Veima Senu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzach Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Leah Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Bahanora El El Yon Gomel Chasadim Tovim Vekone Hakol Vizocher Chaste Avov Imahot Umei Vigoev Livnei Vneihem Lema'an Shema Biyahava Melech Ozer Ufaked Mashiach Umagain Baruch Ata Adonai Magain Avraham Ufaked Sarah Atagi bor le olam adonai, Micha ye me sima tavrav le hoshia, Mashi baruach, umarida gashem, Micha kel chayim bechesed, Micha ye me sim berachamim rabim, Sohomech no fim berofe cholim, Umatir asurim, Umekaye emunato. Lishene afa mechamachav al gevuras umidah melech melech memis umechaye umat miak Yeshua v'neeman atalachayos mesim baruch ata Adonai mechaye hamesim. Nari tsecha venakti shecha kesotzi aksar fe kodesh hamakti shim shim chaba kodesh kakasu vayad neviecha vekara zel zeve amar. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzavos, Melech Aretz, Kivodo, Kivodo, Malei Olam, Meshara Sav, Sholazim, Zela, Zeh, Ayem Yekam, Kivodo, Lo Sok, Baruch, Yom, Eru. Baruch, Kivodo, Adonai, Mim, Kamo. Baruch, Kivodo, Adonai, Mim, Kamo. Mim, Kamo. Ham Yachadim Shemo Erev Avokeh Bechol Yom Tamid Pamayim Biyava Shema Omrim Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad who Eloheinu, who Avinu, who Malkeinu, who Moshiyenu, who Yashmiyenu, Berachem Avsheni, Lene Kochai. Lord, 
Hallelujah. Im lo chanel elam el haik siyan le dor bador. Hallelujah. Le dor bador. 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 Le dor Ole Nitzach Nitzachim, Kedushach Kadnaktish, Kedushach Kadnaktish, Veshiv Chacha Eloheinu, Mepinu Lo Yamush, Lo Yamush Le'olam Ba'ed. Le'dor Vador, Le'dor Vador, Le'dor Vador, Le'dor Vador, Le'dor Vador, Nagid God Lecha, Le'dor Vador, Le'dor Vador, Le'dor Vador, Le'dor Vador, the door by door, Nagit Golacha. Kiel Melech Gado, Gado Vikadosh, Gado Vikadosh Ata. Kiel Melech Gado, Gado Vikadosh, Gado Vikadosh Ata. Baruch Atadonai, Hael Hakadosh. We take time now for our own silent meditations. We continue in our Siddurim and we'll conclude on page 192. If you are in the still in the midst of your prayer, please continue. We continue with Kaddish Shalem on page 203. Yikadav Yikadash Shemei Rabbah. 
Yamadi Rahuse, and Lich Mahuse, the Chayachonu Gamechonu, Chayede Kobe Israel, Bagalais Makari, the Imeru, Amen, Yehishme Rabba Mibora, Leola Mola Meo Maya, Viparak Vishabak, Viparavi Rami Nase, Visadarvi Salevi Salal Shame to Kudisha, Rehu, Leilamin Kober Hasa, Vishirasa, Tushba Hasa, and Nechamasa, Damiram Yama, the Imeru, Amen, Tabel Tolhonu Vahon, the whole Israel, Kadamu Vahon, the Vishma, the Imeru, Amen, Heshlam, Rabba Min Shamaya, the Chaim Alain of Elko Israel, the Imeru, Amen, Ah, say Shalom, Yurma, Puya, say Shalom, Alain of Elko Israel, the Imeru, Amen. Of Ain Kelohenu. In Kelohenu, in Kadonenu, in Kemokenu, in Kemoshienu, Michelohenu, Michadonenu, Michemokenu, Michemoshienu, no de la Lohenu, no de la Donenu, no de la Mokenu, no de la Moshienu. Baruch Eloheinu, Baruch Adoneinu, Baruch Malkeinu, Baruch Moshienu, Atahu Eloheinu, Atahu Adoneinu, Atahu Malkeinu, Atahu Moshienu, Atahu Shiktiru, Avoseinu, Lefanecha et Ketoret Hasamim. We rise for Aleinu on page 205. Aleni l'shabeach l'adon hakol L'atet k'dula l'yotze hebreshi Shelo asanu k'goye haratzot Lelo samanu k'mishbechot adama Shelo sam chelkenu kahem V'gon aleinu k'cho amonam V'anachnu k'orim U'mishtachavim u'modim Lifne melech, mache hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. On this Shabbat, we are observing the yard sites of Yedda Zweig, Thelma Charnow, Ethel Gold, Marvin Rubin, Benjamin Wolin, Myron Bernard, Florence Weinstein, Julie Kaplan, Joel Abramson, Charles Trepper, Jacob Kaplan, Rose Grob, Beatrice Pleasant, Jerry Weissman, Nathan Hader, Ted R. Savage, Lawrence Burke, Minnie Petrushka, Julia Rafal, Cosmo Troisi, Rose Norbin, Charles Kahn, Stanley Aronow. For those who are observing these yard sites and other yard sites, for those who are in the year of mourning, and I also offer, if there are those who want to stand in solidarity with those who mourn, I invite you to do so on page 207 with Kadish Yatom. Yit gadal vit kadash shemei rabba. Be'alma divra kir ute viam lich machute. Be'chaye chon uviome chon uvchaye de chol beit Israel. Ba'agala uvizman kariv viimru. Amen. Yehe shme rabba mevarach. Le'alam ulalme almaya. Yit barach vish tabach. Vit pa'ar vit romam vit nase. Vit hadar vit ale vit halal shmeid kudsha. La Ela min kol birchata vishirata, tush bechata venechamata, damiran de alma vimru, amen. Yehe shlama raba min shmaya, bechaim alenu veal kol Yisrael vimru, amen. O se shalom bibromav, hu ya ase shalom, alenu veal kol Yisrael, veal kol yoshvetevel. 
v'imru, amen. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that we are also thinking about Bruce Mallon, who passed away this week, um, uh, a real macher in our community. Um, we will be sitting shiva with Judy Efren and her family on uh, to, to this evening at 7.30, and if you can help us make a minion, that would be much appreciated. Um, you can check um, our, our um, email for uh, all the times and the address of, of the Shiva Minyanim. They will be tonight, tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday night, all at 7.30 at Judy Efren's house. So again, I ask you to please come out, help us make those Minyanim as we comfort her in this time of mourning. Um, may God, the, who brings peace to the heavens above, bring peace to all those among the mourners of Zion, as together we say, Amen. And as we begin to turn from prayer to Oneg, we of course have some announcements, announcements, announcements to be offered by Mitch Ross, the president of our congregation. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Kendra Rubenstein, for a lovely service this morning. Thank you to our greeter, Steve Schlosser. A um, couple quick announcements. First, Mazel Tov to Phil. Congratulations on this wonderful milestone. And thank you for bringing your entire family here, or, or much of your extended family here, to share this with us. Um, we have a kiddish afterwards in the social hall in honor of Phil's birthday, sponsored by Deborah Horowitz. Thank you very much. Um, our synagogue Hanukkah celebration begins on Tuesday, December 24th. The theme is the Great Latke Cook-Off. Please, and Hanalang's birthday. Please refer to our website or your e-bulletin for details. Hope that many of you will join us. Uh, on December 30th, we're celebrating the ninth night of Hanukkah, seeing the ninth Star Wars movie. Uh, seats are still available. Detail, details and registration are on the website. Please sign up after Shabbat. On January 3rd and 4th, we are welcoming musicians in residence Naor. Naor is a group that uses meditative chants, drumming, and guided imagery to elevate worship within the boundaries of conservative Judaism. This is going to be an amazing weekend. The program is generously sponsored by the Barbara Mark Dreyfus Spirituality Fund, and I hope you will all join us. Uh, beginning on Saturday, January 26th, the Phoenix Holocaust Association brings the grand opening of the exhibition Holocaust by Bullets, a four-month community-wide program that focuses on mass shootings during the Holocaust. There'll be exhibits at the Burton Bar Library in Phoenix, the State Capitol, and at ASU's Noble Library. For more information, please speak to Cheryl Bronkish or see the flyers in our lobby. And finally, um, hot off the press is even hotter than the announcement sheets that got to you late today. Um, you'll notice on here that it says the gala 2020 is nearly sold out. So we actually have filled the capacity for the gala. I'd like to thank the Hammermans, the Jacobsons, the Schwartzes, and the Feinbergs, um, our chairs of this event. They've done a phenomenal job putting together what's going to be an amazing uh, tribute to Rabbi Kaplan, uh, to Linda Moskowitz, and to Ellen Silberman. Um, if you were not able to buy tickets, there are going to be other opportunities to share your appreciation and your thanks and tributes to these wonderful honorees. So I'd ask you to look for an email coming from us early this week, and we will update the website, but this is moving faster than we could get into the bulletin. So I apologize for that, and thank you for your support. Um, please check your handout on the website for additional information, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. We will conclude our service twofold with Adon Olam and then with Vishamru. I'm inviting Ezra to come back on to the Bima. Do any of your siblings and cousins, do any of you want to come up and join Ezra? Keep him company up here? It gets lonely. Oh, thank you. So are you bringing a little bit of New Orleans to us with this melody? Yep. Okay, tell us what it is. Or just sing it, and we'll see. All right, wait, Adon Alam can be found on page 211. Belt it out, Ezra. Adon Alam, Asher Mala, Beterim Kol Yitzir Nivra. Billy Rishi, Billy Tahlid, Willow Hahos, Behamizra, 
Felui, Behai Gali, with your heavenly lay eight sara, Behunitsi, Manosli, Menakoti, Beyo Mekra, Beyava, a figure he, Beyisha, Beyira, Beyimruhi, Gaviati. Adonai leave the ra. On behalf of our entire congregation, Ezra, you can come back anytime you want and help lead. That invitation is open to the rest of your family as well. Here, I got this. There's a trick to it. Got a lift. There we go. <laughs> that was fantastic. Thank you, buddy, so much. Um, as we move from prayer to oneg, we sing Vishamru, and we will make Motzi and Kiddush together. We rise, we can find these things on, thank you, we, can, we rise as we turn to page 77 for the words of Vishamru. Yep, I got it. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat. La asot et hashabat le dodo tamberito lamai peni uvein bene Israel oti le olam kisheshet yamim asa adonai et hashamayim ve et haaret. Uvayom hashvi'i shavat vahina fash. Uvayom hashvi'i shavat vahina fash. Al kein berach adonai yom hashabat vahikad shehu savri chaverai. Baruch adonai Eloheinu melech haolam bore peri hagafen. I give you the honor, sir. Now our motzi, Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, ha-motzi lechem min ha-aretz. avon Shabbat Shalom, a joyous day to all. Shab and uh, Chag, Sa uh, Chag Sameach, Hanukkah starts tomorrow night. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shabbat Shalom. Do you guys want? Bim, bam, it's grape juice. You sure don't want? Bim, 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 bam. Bim, bam, bim, 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 bam. It's okay. Bim, 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 bam. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, hey, Shabbat Shalom, hey, Shabbat 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 Shalom.